What's up everybody, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the DC Comics Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman figure from Mattel. And this figure has been out for a while now, at least a few weeks, probably probably a month, a month and a half. But I picked them up and I liked them a lot, so I wanted to talk about it. And I thought this video would be a good uh, opportunity to incorporate some footage I got from the DC Mattel booth at Comic-Con this year. So here's a quick look at the packaging. We got this big figure stuffed in this little box. And then down here we get some pretty cool Dark Knight Returns artwork. And on the side we have the same artwork. On the back we get a look at the other figures in the wave and the Build-A-Figure, which is New 52 Doomsday. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the packaging here. It's collector friendly, so you could open it up, take the figure out, and put it back in if you'd like. And I'm a fan of that style of packaging, so that's pretty cool. Now for the articulation, his head is able to go side to side. And it could go forward just a little bit. Not much at all, really. And it can't really tilt up at all. It does have a little bit of tilt to it, but very, very little. And he does have a torso joint, but it's covered by this overlay. But surprisingly you're able to get a little bit of movement out of it that's pretty cool as you can see here and you could get it to go back a little bit it's not much but it's more than I thought it'd be able to and then he has a uh, waist swivel and for his arms they're able to go all the way around and the cape doesn't really get in the way so that's pretty cool but they're only able to come out this much or actually about this much because of the shoulder pad it kind of gets in the way and then there's an the upper bicep swivel and then he has single jointed elbows that only move a little bit as you can see uh, the armor piece right here kind of gets in the way so that's all you're gonna get out of that and then there's a swivel at the wrist and then for his legs they're able to come out to the side about that much and they're able to come forward about that much and they can move back a little bit too, but not very much. And this piece here is an overlay too, so it just gets in the way of his leg movement. And he doesn't have upper thigh swivel, but his leg is on a ball joint, so that's where you get your swivel from. And it swivels pretty good. Then you have single jointed knees. And then you have lower leg swivel. And then his feet can tilt up about that much and then tilt down about that much. And they don't rock or anything like that. Um, so the articulation is okay considering it's such a bulky figure. And for his accessories, he comes with this cool little gun. And then he comes with the Build-A-Figure Doomsday's head. And he also comes with Doomsday's waist. And here's a closer look at the Doomsday head. It looks pretty cool. I'm not really interested in building Doomsday, but if you are, it does. It looks like it'll be pretty good. And then the waist piece here, you know, you just stick the legs into the side. Nothing special. And then the gun is pretty cool, but there's no paint at all. It's sculpted pretty nice, though. Uh, one thing that kind of sucks is you can see it says China right there. I don't know why they didn't hide that a little bit better. But aside from that, it looks pretty cool. It's a cool looking gun. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to DC Icons Flash and DC Icon Superman. And here he is next to Mezco Movie Armored Batman and Mezco Dark Knight Returns Batman. And here he is next to Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Face Off Captain America. And let's take a closer look at the head sculpt here. I think they did a really good job at capturing the old school kind of strange look from the Dark Knight Returns. And I like the angry face that's under the helmet. And I really like this head sculpt, but I do wish that it came with the second head, like an old aged Bruce Wayne head. I think that would have been really cool. And let's take a closer look at the rest of the figure. So this is a soft overlay. And also right here on his pelvis, that's a little overlay too kind of gets in the way and it kind of sucks like when I move the leg around a little bit it kind of gets caught on the outside that's really frustrating and then I got to kind of find a way to get it back in there that kind of sucks but uh, yeah the sculpt is pretty good there's details throughout the whole figure just minor details on the armor and stuff like that but uh, yeah I think they did a good job on this guy I like this guy a lot actually 
and the cape is pretty soft it doesn't really get in the way at all and it's not heavy to weigh, heavy enough to weigh him down because the figure itself is heavy so one thing that kind of sucks about this figure is it was really hard to find one that had good paint even the paint on mine is kind of messed up the belt has a few paint chips on it and I looked at a bunch of them I've seen them everywhere but yeah all of them had something wrong with the paint uh, I really like the details on the hands though they look they look pretty cool on the parts that don't have paint where the plastic is just molded in the color it's supposed to be there's no problems but any part where there's paint there's some kind of issue it seems like or it was hard to find one with minimal issues it seemed like all of them had something wrong and right here my cape has like a little like it's been stretched or something right here I'm not sure what's going on there this is probably my favorite Mattel DC figure that I've ever bought I'll probably actually keep this most of the Mattel figures I buy I end up getting rid of or returning or something and Mattel actually has some cool stuff coming out uh, their booth at Comic-Con 2016 was pretty nice there was a lot of good stuff in there I really like this armored Batman from the new I think it's from the new 52 but it looks really cool I don't know if I like the other figures in the wave enough to want to build it but if I could get my hands on that that'd be pretty cool I like the way that looks and I really like this King Shark build a figure I think that he looks really cool I don't think that I'll like the other figures in the wave uh, enough to buy all of them or anything like that so I might just end up buying him loose on eBay or something but I think he looks really really good and also we got the Dark Knight Returns Joker that looks awesome I think and uh, very cool that he comes with two different head sculpts I really can't wait for that guy and uh, yeah I think Mattel had a pretty good showing this year I'm not a huge fan of their DC stuff I'm more uh, into the DC icons when it comes to DC figures but yeah I think they had a pretty good showing this year so it's very cool so overall I think Mattel did a really good job on this Batman figure uh, like I said, I'm not really a fan of the DC Universe figures that Mattel does. Um, you know, I, I never really liked the articulation. I, I tried to be into them. You know, I used to buy them when they when they were popular. But uh, yeah, I, I would lose interest in them really quick. Uh, but yeah, in this case, I think the formula works pretty good for Batman because, uh, you know, for the articulation, you don't really need him to move around that much. And, you know, the bulky look. I think all the DC Universe figures looked like a little bulky um, or like bigger than six inch. And uh, I think that's okay right here with this Batman. I think it works pretty good. And, uh, yeah, the one thing I do wish, I wish the paint applications were better because they're pretty bad on, like, everyone I've seen, especially in the belt area and in the face somewhere. Like, you know, there'd be, like, skin color on his helmet. It was really frustrating trying to find a good one. But I found this one. It's decent. I'll probably keep an eye out for, for a better-looking one. But uh, for now, this one's cool. So it's a pretty cool figure, and I'm definitely happy to finally have a Dark Knight Returns Frank Miller-inspired armored Batman. And, uh, yeah, he looks very cool, so I'm happy with it. And just a reminder, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel. I'll be giving away the Muppet Select Bunsen and Beaker figures by Diamond Select. And all you need is a U.S. mailing address. You need to be subscribed to my channel and you need to leave a comment on that review. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out. And that's it for the review. Armored Batman's a very cool figure. I'd suggest picking him up. I think you can pick him up pretty much anywhere at this point. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage from Comic-Con. And let me know what figures you're excited about that Mattel's coming out with. I'm really excited about King Shark and the Dark Knight Returns Joker. Those are my top two from them. Uh, yeah, let me know which ones you guys are excited about. So that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to check out CoolToyReview.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, if you liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Thank you very much. Peace.